Gasoline prices spiked in February and are even higher now with the average price of regular at $3.56 a gallon nationwide. That's up 43 cents from a month earlier. And you've probably already seen that translate into higher prices for other things. News 3's Clay Falls shows us how the time is ripe for produce prices to surge. It's starting to cost you more to buy some of your favorite fruits and vegetables at your local store. Kiara Brown lives in Snook and works in the agriculture industry. We caught up with her as she shopped at the farm patch in Bryan to feed her growing family. I don't anticipate the prices going down anytime soon. Um, I see it filtering, you know, down to just the middleman and the farmers and such, and that's a big concern for myself as well, where I live, where I work. So it's startling, shocking. Mark Scamardo of the Farm Patch says prices for produce have already been inflated because of the especially harsh winter and they are now paying a fuel surcharge for each delivery truck. And they have 15 to 20 delivery trucks or more stopped by in a given week. If it keeps up and stays high, you're going to see a lot of your, your produce prices going up because of the cost to raise, not only on transportation, but the cost to raise that, those fruits and vegetables. So far, the folks at the Farm Patch haven't had to pass along their new fuel costs to customers, but that could change. If gas prices continue to go up, they could start losing several thousand dollars of money per month, causing them to reach a breaking point. Over at Christopher's World Grill, it's a similar theme with new surcharges on their deliveries on top of skyrocketing costs for seafood and significant increases on produce prices. David James is the executive chef here, and other than seafood market prices, hasn't passed along the new costs to customers despite $500 a month bills in fuel surcharges. If we have to buy, I want to say, a lug of tomatoes for $42 when I'm normally buying it for $24 to $28, that's just part of doing business. You know, I don't go back and charge more at the, you know, off the menu. There's nothing I can do about that. It's a frustration being felt by a lot of people as everybody has to eat. In Bryan, Clay Falls, News 3. And while it's hard to say how much gas prices will go up, some of the predictions are not so great. You may remember back in December, the former president of Shell Oil, John Hoffmeister, said he believes gas will hit $5 a gallon by 2012. 16 street corners in Calvert are causing